Right, so on divine contention, um, you would take up a quest to help um, the local wizard Galio uh, seduce some um, interplanar beings that he wanted to use to um, as a defenses for the towns. Um, these they're very vicious, but he thought he could control them with it, with a, a rebuilt interplanar beacon. Um, that would uh, basically stun and subdue the creatures once they um, once they were introduced to the beacon. Um, but it turns out he had another plan. Uh, while you were dealing with the creatures, um, he was actually after the artifact of the Ruin Stone, um, something that um, you know the uh, Cult of Merkel have been after at the very least. Um, he was under orders from his uh, Wizard Order to. Uh, reconstruct the beacon and ob obtain the ruined stone uh, which had the power to undo a single choice um over the past 24 hour period but at a, a terrible cost because once um destiny was changed uh someone you knew would be erased from existence forever um after a stern talking to by the party mostly maruk i imagine he wasn't very happy about all that. Um, and also with some of the ghosts um, of the Swords of Leilon, um, he agreed he was in the wrong, um, and instead he would he would leave the town. Um, and uh, in the process, the beacon was turned off, the, uh, the bell, the, the uh, silver bell that we used to enter the ethereal plane was destroyed by Lemon, and hopefully, that's the end of that. They saved. Good job. The that end. Could possibly go wrong. Could possibly go wrong. Merck Mer still has a lot of concerns, but he's done what he can at this time. So the creatures were destroyed and Beacon turned off. Galio decided to leave the town. This is where we begin. Shortly after, you 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 can all take a long rest. Oh, thank I think God. I already did. I cheated. I did. I took a long rest last time. Uh, I, I actually forgot to take a long rest before the last session. Oh jeez. Oh, you were just up all night for months. <laughs> so you any any spell cells left. Now hold on a second, guys. We need to rewind for a quick second. Joey, did you mean subdue and not seduce? Because that's what's stuck in my head. <laughs> it's that you said it. I didn't, I didn't you didn't meant subdue, subdue, right? I didn't say subdue. No, you said seduce. No. This is recorded. You can go back and you'll go, oh, wow, Randy was right. <laughs> okay, well, I meant to say subdue. Listen. That's <laughs> less than that's less than that's less than I have a bar in the party, I don't think. I think we can all agree that, that Verifist would... Hello? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I think I think we can all agree that if any monsters are getting seduced, Verifus is, you know, she's the one manning that uh, situation. I mean, they did have or four arms. Yeah. All those arms. Oh. Yeah. Razor sharp teeth, but four arms. Sounds handy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's stay away from those claws. Or, or don't. Listen, dragons, dragons have four arms. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, it depends on the dragon. So it is sometime after, next day, several days. Who knows? Is it raining? I can hear rain. It is rain. Not precisely canon that's raining all the time, but I really like this music. <laughs> oh, I love it raining. The yeah. streets are all muddy. You know, the, everyone's in their houses. I, I'm sorry. I'm not the DM. <laughs> But maybe it has been, who knows. So, um, after taking another look at the uh, quest board, you have decided to uh, meet the gnomes of Nomograd. Um, but they have made a weapon that they wish to share with you to uh, help battle the, um, help battle the cults if they attack. And they, you agreed to meet them at a place called Dumathon's Gulch. 
Oh, sure. here's a question. Did did we get any rewards like for the last quest? Check the thingy. Yeah, I don't think, I think it had I, any listed. Yeah, yeah I, I'm pretty sure we added some to the shared inventory. Well, if you did, take yeah, it out because it was, uh, wasn't for there was no payment. Oh, yeah, no, no, we, no didn't. we didn't. Yeah, we didn't have anything. Where is the shared inventory? Oh, there it is. I got it. Our inventory yeah. is gone. No, there was no reward for the, uh, <laughs> for the previous one. Oh, you're right, you're right. What, do you guys need more money? Yeah. We well, spent, we spent a, a lot of it. We spent most of it. On towers. Yeah. Listen, a girl needs her towers. <laughs> Does he pat your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a tower in your pocket? Or are you happy to see me? <laughs> yeah, what are you paying it's, it just, just don't say pudding. <laughs> yeah. now, oh, here it is. Oh, wait, no, this is just a cup of pudding. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Um, I don't know how much gold you have left, but there is some things you can do in town. Um, yeah, we have about uh, somewhere we're not rocking around 1,700 gold. Oh, well, that's a lot. Um, but, uh, the Time okay, Shrine we... always has potions, potions for sale. Uh, the, pu 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 the Peculiarity Shop always has stuff for sale. Verifus just buys a whole bunch of rings and jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the good stuff. It's all this new kind of, uh, of of super material called I'm plastic. I'm going to switch over to audio on my phone because the audio quality of the uh, voice chat on my laptop is uh, really bad here. Mm, okay. Ooh. You're playing D&D uh, &D in your basement? <laughs> what are you, some kind of nerd? What a loser. I'm in my parents' guest bedroom. You wouldn't see us playing D&D. I was gonna say, like, uh, you guys are throwing an awful lot of rocks and glass houses, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, my, I know what I am. I'm, my Why room is dark, and my I'm in what is basically the basement of my house. Oh, my sorry. room is dark, I'm surrounded by action figures of video games, and I'm playing D&D &D online with my friends. Not even real life D&D, <laughs> online D&D. &D. Well, well, the basement is where I keep my rock collection. <laughs> is that what she called you? Nice. What? <laughs> no, it's, it, no, for my rock tumbler. All right. Oh. Anywhere you wish to go in town before we start our gnome adventure? I'm good. I think Fairfus is fine. I like to think she decorates her horns. She's got like, like bracelets and stuff on them. I think I described that before though, so like whatever. That's not new. Those go on wrists. You turn heads as you walk across town. And maybe not yeah. in a good way. Maybe it's just like gaudy at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mr. T with antlers. <laughs> antlers? How are you going to take that? I mean, horns, well, horns are. Yeah. Do your horns like yeah. every every uh, spring? Does your horns like shed? No, of course not. Don't be silly. Okay. <laughs> you know. A antlers are for are for uh, male creatures that only use them for mating purposes, and then they just get rid of them. You know, they don't they don't keep them around all year long like a like a real uh, animal slash creature slash whatever. What? <laughs> You Listen, know I don't know. It's all good. Alright, if you guys want to... I think we're good. Head right into right uh, right the quest. Yep. Yeah, I've got nothing to do for right. Gail. Selena must make sure her pockets are filled. I can't hear what you're saying. I said... <laughs> oh, no. This can't? thing is stinking. Can't Selena must make sure her pockets are filled with lots of jerky. Lots of jerky is what we got. Um, also, just um, you weren't. As, as I think you probably saw, um, each long rest, gameplay wise, like these um, animals you have are like um, kind of like fish creatures, I think. 
Um, but every every long rest, you can choose which animal you have with you. So you have an animal of a beast of the land, of the air, and the sea. I'm gonna, but I'm going to assume you're going to uh, stick with Rudy. I want to stick with Rudy. You think the darkness is your power? <laughs> like when you sleep, you can you can give Rudy wings or or ta uh, fish tail. Yeah. yeah, I think you mentioned you wanted a uh, eagle, like a peacekeeper, uh, eagly. Um, and then there was a, a, a sea animal you can get, so I cho chose an octopus. So, but it can be whatever you want. Be whatever you want. Um, I wish the tap button on this thing was bigger because I keep my thumb keeps slipping off of it. Okay, so um, Dumathov's Gulch is about a six-hour hike. Leylon. Um, fairly uneventful. But after a few hours of marching, um, you hear some rustling in the underbrush near you. And, uh, a little figure runs out. And, uh, you almost immediately recognize this finger, uh, fig figure as the, uh, the Rock Gnome, uh, factory that you met in Nomengrad try to kill you with a, um, a giant crossbow. Mounted crossbow. She not kill. Not, not kill. Like, slightly maim, maybe. Light, light maiming. Yes, light maiming. Um, and who, a little later, you, uh, you saved from the, um, dragon cryovane as they were, as they were transporting, um, a bigger ballista. She unfortunately got destroyed, but she was, um, she was attacked by Cryovane. But now she uh, she runs out from the brush. Um, her her clothes are, are torn and she seems to be like bloodied. And she like runs out from the brush, all startled, stops in front of you. And she goes, Oh hi. Watch out for the pores. And she kind of falls what? over and faints. Watch out for the pores. The boars. Boars. Oh. Boars. Boars. Said, oh well. Well, I mean, I'll be perfectly up. This, this is just par for the course. Every time we've dealt with the gnomes. Right. I, I don't think I actually met this person because this was before Lemon ended up joining. So he's gonna rush over and uh, at uh, tend to our wounds with a, a small yep, yep. Heal healing word or uh, cure wounds. Yeah, just. Yeah. But, before Wait. the key what happens, Rudy licks his chops uh, with hunger. Yeah. Oh, no. He smells the board. Before he can even even take a step forward, you hear um snarling coming from the underbrush as uh as several giant boars or large boars kind of erupt from the foliage and start running oh. toward you. Oh no. Time to roll initiative. That's what we call put some holes. initiative time. Yeah, it's time for me to put some holes in pigs. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't that doesn't sound good at all. No, 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 it doesn't. And as one of these boars kind of gets close, he leaps into the air and transforms not into an orc oh, no. like you have. Um, you have fought before, but a humanoid or creature. Boo. Turns into oh, that... He turns into Bebop. Oh, well, that's, that's a new spore of madness. That's pretty funny. Uh, I actually, okay, I rolled an 18, but it, I, I checked both sites, Boo. and it should have sent it through. But I'm going to try one more time, just... Ignore this next roll. Oh, turn jerk noise. That's why. Maruk. Right. Uh, what do you roll? I rolled an eight. Teen. Oh, an eight. Eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I have advantage on. Wait, why do I have advantage on? 
thing that you can get damage on a mission. You must be cheating again. 19.13, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, yeah, I get that as a one. Oh, I get that at level 7. Right hmm. this way. He's no, never noticed. <laughs> yeah. It, oh, then I still get 8. Yeah, I, I rolled twice. So I'll say, we'll say 18 works. I can't I get it. I, I, I hope so. Okay, so as the werebore transforms, he, he yells out to the others. Get the gnome. The weapon will be Talos's. Slayer in Talos's name. Talos. Oh, he's really big on branding. It's almost like he wants me to ask him, like, "Who's Talos?" Because he knows Dark Lord. <laughs> Eleven. It's your turn. Uh, I am going to. Let's see. Five, ten, eight, twenty. Okay. I'm just going to get in front of uh, the gnome and uh, uh, to block any attacks and uh, ready in action for uh, to uh, to attack with my weapon um, the moment anybody gets within range. Uh, I won't let you hurt uh, hurt her. How virtuous! What a gentleman. Oh, Lily Sula is just taken aback. A little bit. <laughs> what a gentleman. What he doesn't like people getting picked on. Yeah. yeah. Right, well, he's so he hey, what's going on, buddy? Let's get this over here. I'm going to do some peace of my mind. Right <laughs> you were like whispering. I got to look here. <laughs> oh, I know. It's all right. Don't worry about it, baby. I got it. <laughs> I think that was <laughs> intentional. Oh, son of a biscuit. It's like casting a spell. Hey, does a uh, 12 hit? <laughs> yeah, look how Verifist you've got a competition now. <laughs> um, 12 does hit. Does it really? Yep. Oh, crap. Hold on a second. I got more damage. Do not what worry. Is it? I was going to say, I got some more of that. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, ba -ba -bam. oh, crippity crap. Oh, wait. Never mind. That was good. I got it. A 1 that ends up being a 20. Alright, so it's 31 points of damage. Mm. That's right. That's where it ends up being. Be, 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 be. I'm yeah. gonna smack this boy right in the butt again. He's gonna get him. Come here, big. I got something for you. Rook? Wait, no, I got one more attack. What oh, are you sorry. doing? Got one more attack. <laughs> and then I gotta step backwards. <laughs> you have like two more attacks. Oh, oh I got no. I've only got the one. Well, I got the two attacks. And then yeah. I get to step back and uh, dab on the boy. No, doesn't your Ascentor of Speed let you attack twice? It does, and that's what I'm doing. I'm hit, attacking twice with it. <laughs> yeah, but, okay. But then, yeah, like, it attacked twice in lieu of my um, other attack, because we agreed that it doesn't give me three attacks. Oh, you're right. Um, so, yeah, uh, we, 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 we... There's me remembering the rules you guys told me to remember. See, there it is. That's rare. Anyway. rare. I know, right? I don't, I don't remember anything, and, let alone what I've eaten for breakfast. Anyway, I'm taking a step back, because that's 30, 30 feet of total movement, and I uh, give this boar the bird. <laughs> uh, nine slashing? Okay. Yeah, he gets a whole 40 damage slapped on him all at once. That was big girl damage. <laughs> right, as he's running, now. as he run in front whoa, 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 of Joey, 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 Joey. I'm sorry. You skip my turn. Take... I understand. Your turn. All right, uh, Maruk, he's just, uh, Maruk kind of positions himself in front of factory, and is a kind of a guard, and then cast, and then cast firebolt at this uh, boar man thing, filet, whatever that filet mignon here in a bit, yeah, right? Uh, does a nineteen hit? A 12 hit. So, yes. <laughs> All right. It takes uh, 20 fire damage. Don't forget for, to roll for your wild magic stuff there, bud. <laughs> uh, it's a cantrip. Oh, well, then never mind. I'm an idiot. Yes, but we don't mind. I'm not. Oh, I'm not done yet. 
<laughs> is it still, Joey? Is it still alive? Yep. As a bonus action, I use Quicken Spell to cast Firebolt again. Okay. Wow. And miss. That, that one's a miss. That is a miss. Oh wait, no, it isn't. Wait. It um, isn't. I'm actually gonna pull something out that I haven't done in a while, but I feel like I need to. Oh shit. Um. Right, wait, do I have that yet? I don't have that yet. Dang it. Um, ignore what I just said. Well, yeah, just ignore that. I missed. Okay. So Lemon jumps in front of Factory as the werebore charges towards her. Um, so you can get an attack. Okay. hits 12 do I just get one attack or um... <sighs> you ready in action I think if you do well I don't know if you ready in action do you get your full like two attacks I would hope so but uh, that's up to you I mean, it's your action. Your action is two attacks. Two attacks. So. Okay. Oh, you that cannot one. use an extra attack in addition to attack. You make oh. Okay, thank you. So, so I guess that's kind, of, that's kind of like the sacrifice of doing outside your turn, I suppose. Okay, never mind. I guess it's almost like you're using a reaction. I guess, maybe. Okay. So, 12 damage. <laughs> He's going to attack you. <clears throat> Takes a maul that he has in his hand. Seven will miss. Then he tries to gore you with his tusk. Fourteen will miss. Yep. Here charges at Maruk. All right, mm. uh, he would do a twenty four. Oh, hit. Okay, you take twelve slashing damage plus an additional. Six damage as he charges you. And I want you to do a strength and constitution saving throw. Wait. Yeah. Oh, can I? Oh, this is. Yeah, just a strength. Okay. 20. 20. You. Well, you dirty 20. You, you stand your ground. I'm not going to worry about, um, about, um, lycanthropy in this game. <laughs> Appreciate you. Alright, Zizix. Alright, Zizix is, uh, going to have summon elemental. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, dang. And... He is going to summon a the Earth Elemental. Kind of rises up from the from the dirt and rock in the ground, forms this humanoid shape. Do you put that, or do I? I have it, don't I? Oh, the token? Usually you put it in my foot. Yeah, I do. Elemental spirit. Thank you. Never change it. And you can heal it up to full. All that. Okay. Alright, where do you want it? Uh, let's see. He can get 90. So let's go ahead and get him right uh, here in between these two. Yeah, let's get them both engaged. 
Thank you. I got the uh, oops. Yeah, the wrong keyboard. Okay. And so then oh so also I'm I've got concentration. Let's not forget that. Pop a C. Okay. And then that is gonna be it for my turn. And I'm gonna move. So your there. element is gonna attack, I imagine. Right, well, on, on his turn. Okay. So then my turn's over because I moved over to get a little closer to Verifus. And then the elemental is going to attack. Uh, the one to the right. Okay. With a slam. So my spell attack modifier. Ooh, it's one hit. 21. 21. All right. And that is going to be. Oh, there, there's a button just for like spell attacks. The like a, a generic spell attack. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah it, well, it, it, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. your spell save or your spell attack modifier. Well, yeah, but I mean, there's a button for it, like on the. Yeah. Page. Yeah, under spells. Okay. Oh, you gave me the whole elemental thing. I knew I was missing something. Okay, I'll use that for my next one. Um. So 12 uh, bashing or bludgeoning damage. Okay, hopefully I got that right, because I think I got something wrong with um, with the uh, other one. The per but uh, 12 damage. So if you look that over for me, that should be good. I will look it over. Damage is uh, whatever the attack is, plus your proficiency, I think. Uh, 1d10, it just says plus 4, which could be, which must be my proficiency. It doesn't give me specifics, but then it goes above, uh, plus the spells. Oh, yeah, it says right here. Okay. Plus the spells level. Oh. Oh, so that should actually be 16 instead of 12. It should be 1d10 plus 4 plus 4. And that's why yours, the one you made me, says plus eight. Okay, I'm going to use yours now because okay. it's quicker and it's right. <laughs> so 16 bludgeoning on that guy. And if he is still alive, I'm going to take another slam on him for a critical fail. Maybe I won't use you, the one you made me. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that is probably a miss. This and one. then that is the elements turn. And this running towards the elemental transforms into a, a boar. We'll attack twice with his maul. One, two. Does the seventeen hit the elemental? Seventeen does hit the elemental. So both attack both attacks together do uh seventeen bludgeoning damage. Okay. He had to switch to his mall, didn't he? Okay, 17 bludgeoning. <laughs> this one continues to run, so the elemental can do a... a, um... attack of opportunity. Right here. Yep. And the attack of opportunity is going to be for a 10. 10 hits, actually. Oh! Wow, okay. Oh, wait, Whoa. hold on. I can't hit. 10 can't be, can't hit, though. Oh, well, that's actually a mess. Okay. Do it in human form, though, would have hit. Interesting. Um. Okay, he's going to charge into Lemon. This tusk. Four or ten will miss. He will transform the tiny small. For 19. 
Uh, 19 just hits. Right, you take 11 bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Right. right. Uh, right. Is that maul magical? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, uh, how much did you say? 11. 11. Okay. Why? Do I have to worry about having the enemies having magical weapons now? Uh, sort of. Um, my uh, my feet allows me to negate uh, three uh, damage from um, all piercing, bludgeoning, and uh, slashing da- uh, that is non-magical. Okay. <laughs> <Actually. laughs> Just like three damage? Negate three damage? Uh, yeah, so it's just, just down to eight. Price is, Price is not, not too bad. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's nothing bad. You know, so, sometimes they do say if the attack is magical, so... Alright, uh, Verifus. Alright, Verifus takes... Oh, I can't control my token. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong thing. Here we go. Uh, let me see here. Hold on. Yeah, you're not you're not Zizix. No, that's fine. Um, she's actually gonna step up here, and she's gonna cast Blink, which I've never cast yet. Which is a weird spell. So it's just um, oh, that's a lot of text. Thanks, game. Uh, but essentially. I just gotta roll a d20, and if it's an 11 or higher, she's gonna disappear into the ethereal plane. Hold on. Aha! That's only a 4, so it uh, it doesn't look like anything happens, but I still cast a spell, and it still lasts for, like, a minute. Or, a, uh, yeah, a whole minute, so... Okay. And, uh... I guess that's my turn. I'm trying to think of, I don't have any bonus actions I can take, I think. Why, why, why did you cast a defensive spell when you're not even in melee combat? I don't know. Why not? Well, I was gonna get into melee, but uh... oh wait, wait, I think I... I. No, I can't do that. Never mind. Oh, I think, I think how, how far away was this? Twenty-five. Five. I'll move one space forward. There we go. <laughs> okay. It's my turn. Sleeva. Quick question: Can um, Rudy? Can Rudy occupy? You cut out. You're, you're breaking up. I assume you say cannot. Can Rudy occupy a friendly space? And the answer is no. All right, thank you. Um, yeah, my finger keeps slipping off this push to talk button. That's the issue. But uh, I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on the uh, where boar that is, I guess, north of uh, Lemon. Okay. And then I'm going to have my bonus action send Rudy over to him and uh, slash him in the face. Right, as doesn't um, is, is anyone forgetting that this guy's like very injured? Okay, so doesn't Rudy have like a charge? I see Maul. Well, well, look in the um. In the uh, in the extras under the uh, creatures tab, I think they have a charge. If they do extra damage, they run in a straight line. Yes, Rudy's gonna charge. Um, I guess we'll charge at the one that's the weakest, the one that uh, Maru pointed out. Um, well, you're not running towards that one in a straight line. It has to be the it has to be this guy. All right, it shall be done then. So that would be like running, stopping, and then turns. Uh, charge essentially adds an extra D, uh, D6 damage. Okay. So do an attack roll. Four hits. And then roll, and then roll D6. D6. And the creature also has to do a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. I'm going to assume that these attacks are magical at this level. Alright, roll d6. 
Or I can't. I just... Here, I'll just roll one. Five. Does five extra damage. We'll take the five. <laughs> and then do a strength saving throw. Rolls a five. So he's not prone? Yes. Well, look, he's a cat. Oh, never mind. You're talking to him. Okay. okay. I thought you were saying at is the that, is got that Hunter's attack. Mark only against Selena's bow attacks? I think so. It says a weapon attacks. Okay. And that was an action or a bonus action to cast? An action? I I cast. Uh, it was it was Selena's action to cast the Hunter's Mark, and it was her bonus action to order uh, okay. Rudy the uh, uh, a good giant tank. She says, go get him, boy. Sick him. Sick him. It's wherever or will. Turn and attack Rudy twice. Does a 12 hit? Does not. Right, 11. Um, you, can oh, refill, yeah. you can refill Rudy's health, too. I don't know why it's so low. Um, I am going to split up my attacks and uh, thwack the north one first and then the one to the west. North one is uh, Crit on the one north of me uh, that Rudy's attacking. Ooh. The 27? 27? Yeah, 27. Ouch. Wow. Still standing. Uh, does 11 hit? 11. Uh, for the human form. 11 matches. Uh, measly 10 to the one to the, uh, to the left of me. Uh, oh, and um, I'll do a bonus action to do a uh, Cure Wounds on uh, Factor. Factory? Factory? Yeah. Are you see Who has some Who has some Okay. Uh... Right, you see some of the, um, the cuts kind of heal up, close up. She starts to breathe a little more regularly. Hey, right, Lucilla. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go up to get this boat. Just, let's just stick this pig. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um. Alrighty. I'm sorry, I'm terribly sick, you guys. That's okay. Yeah. Well, uh, we're gonna try to... Would you say Greedy counts as an ally? It's definitely an ally. Um, the warbore, though, is prone, so that means he's incapac in incapacitated. I know I said that wrong. So that means the advantage does not happen. Oh, right, okay. Well, then that's seven damage there. <laughs> no, I'm saying that um, this were warbore doesn't count as an, an ally close to this one because it is prone. Oh, this one's prone? Yeah, that's what the is. Alright, well then he's taking that 21 damage then. Yeah. And then, uh, stick him. And then, uh, and then I'm gonna... Well, how's he looking? Is, is he he's, he's gone. Oh, he's dead? He's a dead... He's a dead pig. He's an ex war. Alright, I'm gonna step on over his corpse. I'm gonna hurdle <laughs> the dead. And then I'm gonna use my second attack <laughs> to smack this prone boy. Uh, you get advantage. I do get advantage. Get a shift on that one. Uh, probably hit him for like nine damage. Yeah, nine damage. Yep. That's it. Prone. And then we're just gonna karaoke on back this way. <laughs> right, I'll get, let me get in the phalanx here. <clears throat> That's all Lily Sula's gonna do. Yeah. Uh, ne 
this person. Be me. Well, Maruk feels that Maruk is feeling very good about things, but and still, but still feels like it's time to go into a rage. Which also means we get to roll from the wild surge table. Wild surge. Wild, wild surge. Wild surge. Let's go, Flump. Five. It's us. Um, when a creature hits you with an attack roll before your rage ends, that creature takes 1d6 force damage as magic latches out in retribution. <laughs> so essentially, I just get a little bonus damage if someone hits me. Fun times. Anyways, this okay, now we're not raging. All right, Merc is going to take a reckless attack on the four-man creature that is right in front of him. You see, he can't get to the one that is thrown without, you know, well, getting out of the way of fact. It's going to be a reckless attack, so roll. Just ignore it. Uh, 19, I'm guessing, hits the guy in front of me. Oh, we have a roll advantage. Yep, Ignore. Uh, take two off that. That, that had rolled the wrong die. That's 12. Okay, 12 hits. Well, ni the 19 will hit. Yeah, but take two off the damage. So it's 12. I, I, yeah. I don't see any damage. Oh, that's the damage. Well, I said roll an advantage because you, you could roll a natural 20 and do more damage. That's why I said. I did roll an advantage. That was the highest roll. Oh, I only saw 19. Set nineteen. All right. Okay. Um, Does fall damage. Okay. And nice. Uh, a twenty hits. Uh, yeah. Why is your and damage? Your stuff looks different than it usually does. It doesn't have a, the button. Or I switch styles. Yeah. I don't like it. Change it back. <laughs> I like it. I... <laughs> right. We're more We're more nice. yeah. I'm scared of change. What else? It's not, it's, not, it's not as good. The DM has decreed. <laughs> also, since I, I like did go dark. into a rage, do you want me to roll for the big boy? Uh. Uh. Wild magic table. Sure. <sighs> oh, did I disconnect? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, you're still okay. Sorry, it got all quiet. Rolling your d20. For the record, we are looking for. We are looking. Let me make sure I get this right. We are looking for a one, two, three, or a four on this one. Nope. All right. Nope. We're good for now. Next time, it will be a one through five. Hey, this one's going to attack 11. It's small twice. 21. Oh, no. 21 hits. Six bludgeoning damage. <gasps> this one will transform. Ow. <laughs> oh no, my health. Why? <laughs> These aren't actually boars at all. 
Rolls a 20 against Baruch. Oh, that hits. Take thir- um, at, before having it, takes 13 bludgeoning damage. And it takes uh, two force damage. He said it's before having takes 14 damage? 13. 13. 14. So that would be... Two six. <laughs> So I, so I need to have that, then. Yeah. The happening is six. Um, yeah, Zizix. All right, the Zizix is going to move to here. And he is going to attempt to th- one more to here. He is going to use Thorn Whip against... Uh, uh, the prone one I have disadvantage because it's prone and it's ranged. Is, do you agree? Um, that's how it works, yeah. Wow. Crap. Okay. And then he's going to go for the one uh, next to Lemon for a... I forgot about that one. <laughs> 18. 18's going to hit. All right, he is going to take 11 piercing, and I am not going to move him away. I'm going to let Lemon stick there with him. Um, And then the elemental, he is going to keep engaged with uh, that one out in the corner there and do some slammertons. Uh, 24, that is for 10 bludgeoning. And a 20. Yeah. Or 11 bludgeoning. Okay. And that, and he's going to stay where he is. And that is Zizix and Co's turn. He's going to attack right back. Good luck. 18 hit? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good luck then. I All shouldn't have wished him luck. <laughs> Altogether, you take 20 bludgeoning. Oh, okay. Oh. This one will stand back up. Two mall attacks against Rudy. One of them will hit. Rudy takes mm-hmm. nine bludgeon damage. I'll do it here. Rudy goes. <clears throat> Knock me down, will you? <laughs> what of my pride? What of my strength? <laughs> <laughs> what of, how do you lay a bite of you down? Uh, Verifus. Yeah, so Verifus is gonna come, uh, dang it, shuffling up through the group and get over here. And she kind of pushes through, she's like, excuse me, excuse me. Um, gets hey, over sure here. You, make, make sure you have, wait, are you, are you What's invisible? Up? Or like, Blo- blo- no, uh, where was I standing over oh, here? Because I don't want to. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I should be able to get there. Well, you're Why, moving through up? a group of people, so it's going to be. Um... No, no, I, I checked the. It's it's thirty uh, going south of us. Okay. Oh, it is. Oh, but either way, if I can get around there, then that's cool. Oh, Chris, you're cutting in and out. So, wouldn't you have have attack of opportunity on you from the guy who has a mark on him? Well, not if because I can go around that one and not provoke it. I think. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. he went along the he went along the bottom. Yeah, that works. Yeah, along yeah. The okay. yeah. If that works, Fairfax gets there and she's just like, "Hey, boys, or should I say, boars?" <laughs> and casts a Shardul on Stride at level four. Ashwan which Stride like, brings all the boars to you. Yeah, uh, which means she can move an additional twenty-five feet and damage all three of these guys. Or anything that comes within five yards of her, anyway. So me and and Rudy, then, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I can actually get up here. I can actually get all the way up here to this guy at 25 feet and hit all of them with six damage. <laughs> so, um... Nice. Ash, um, Ash Arlons, um, I thought I recognized that name. Uh, that was the shrine we were in. In the, in oh the, really? In the uh, Assault Citadel. 
It was. Oh, um, that's cool. That was the name of the dragon. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Well, look at that. Look at that. It all comes six. full circle. So all the boards take yep. six. E even the and, all the boards take elemental. six. The yeah, elemental. the elemental, the elemental would good. too. And I, I guess it's up to your discretion. I did come within five feet of lemon, okay. so maybe lemon takes six damage too. Lemon's oh, taking six damage. damage. Oh, I, I did the health on the elemental. He has one left. Oh, I had already oh, done it. Oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> give me, give me my six back. Yeah. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. That's what I'm saying. But then the blink, which isn't a concentration spell for some reason, and it's an 18, so she gets up here and she like stops right in front of this guy. I could take an action too, couldn't I? I could slap him in the face. You already did your action. Yeah, the action is your spell. No, 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 no. The, the, the Ashwater tries the bonus action. Oh. So I could just, I could just like... Slap him and disappear. Yeah, I can just slap him and then the blink will disappear me into the ethereal plane. Go for it. Uh, how do I how do I roll a um Unarmed how do strike. I roll an attack? Unarmed strike, what do I do oh here we go. Or do you have like a, a, a core sap? Oh my god, dagger. I rolled a natural twenty <laughs> on an unarmed strike. That's ridiculous. <laughs> nah, that's a <laughs> damage, I guess two, because it's a uh, in um in another the uh, other campaign that we were doing in Waterdeep, I my wizard ended up being able to roll. He rolled a natural twenty on an unarmed strike, but since his strength is five, he he can do a maximum amount of zero damage. <laughs> so you run up to this guy on fire, stop, slap him in the snout, <laughs> and then disappear. Um, unfortunately, I also kill the golem, I guess. Even though it's just one damage, uh, you don't think he felt any of that damage. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I killed the golem too, didn't I? You said it no, only had like a little bit of health left? Oh, okay. I thought you said it only had like five health or something. Yeah. You had seven now. Th thanks for that, Verif. Um, wh where'd he go? <laughs> Alright, Selena, you have a hunter's mark on this werebore. Yep, uh, Selena's going to uh, fire, fire two, two longbows at him. Or is that Too extra long. damage think... with the um, with the hunter's mark? One d six per uh, successful hit. Okay. I recommend you fire arrows and not the whole bow itself. Yeah. Is um. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Hunter's mark. <laughs> one of those things you can change targets when it when uh, the creature dies. I might be able to. Because I... like warlocks have something like that called bane that they can switch targets. So you're thinking of X. X, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our DM. <laughs> so, so, um, <laughs> lost spells. It was a crit on my part, too, so it would have been two damage. I don't know if that makes yeah. a difference. <laughs> right. A lot of damage. I think this. Both of my D sixes were ones. That sucks, Snake Eyes. All right, so that one dies after the first hit. So you can use your second attack on this guy, on the other guy, if you want. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll do that, and um, then Rudy is going to move next to the one that's uh, right by Lemon, and then uh, maul him. Ten damage. Oh. Alright, uh, 25 hits, 13 damage. It's looking hurt. I still think it's a bummer that I got snake eyes on both my D6s. Yeah. Alright, uh, 11. Uh, I will uh, again split the uh, the attacks uh, top to bottom. <laughs> split these nuts. <laughs> Both those hit. Uh, Fifteen to the top one, nine to the bottom. Uh, 59. The one next to you, when he hit him, like knocks out one of his tusks 
He starts like holding his mouth like He's still standing. Do you want to use both attacks on him? Uh, what was that? Do you want to use both attacks on him? Or just one? Just one. Um, nah, save some fun for other others. Okay. Get nine to one below. Lucilla. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to injure somebody. <laughs> injure some boars. I think they're all injured. They are all in Especially my elemental. <laughs> and then I'm just going to have her hopscotch on over this way. Well, you know what? I'm going to... Ooh, that's a little too risky for me. But she is... it is by itself. The Verifus is right there, and so is an elemental. So... All right, you know what? I'm, I'm invisible. Really... That's okay, you're invisible. It's all right. You know, sometimes I could just get that... Uh... Technically, is Verifus's space unoccupied since Verifus is on a different plane of existence? I yeah. So. yeah, I'm on the ethereal right. plane. Necessarily in that way, but that's okay. Today on the Rogue Hour, we're going to be hitting some word wars. I'm your host, Lil Sula. I'm your host, Lil Sula, and I'm going to stab this man right in his damn health. Anyway, here we go. And we go. Just for context, since I don't think we ever pointed it out, um... He's having throat problems. No, he's just old Randy. No, no, I do have throat problems. I, I'm sick. <laughs> but, but I'm also... also but the also rambling Randy. is absolutely me. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> right, he's looking, he's looking hurt. Oh, good, because he's going to hurt more. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hit him again. <laughs> you can hit him. Put this man in the... Put him in the dirt. Put him in the dirt. Do some work. Uh, just kidding. I'm gonna do seven damage. <laughs> Still standing. All right. Yep. Well, that's about all Lily Silica can do. She can't even move back. All right. Baruch. All right. Baruch just decides to hit the one in front of him first of all and see what happens. Hit. I'm assuming that hits. For 11 damage? 11 damage. Looking hurt. Alright, and hits it again. For 10. Uh, 10 will miss. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll let that slide. And, see, he rules about you? human form versus werewolf, werewolf form. Yeah, I'm good. I think I, you're I'll not making me that. You're not making me fight a real for real werewolf, man. I'd lose my mind. <laughs> it's like we're, we're we're real werewolves, which isn't good. <laughs> no, homie, you ain't imposing like a real. Well, oh, twenty-five against eleven. This one, just in a wild rage about being so near death, <laughs> he will get a critical strike and do fifteen damage against eleven. Bludging damage. Oh no, ow. <laughs> Don't you have like plus two armor now or something stupid? Uh, no, it's just plus one. Okay. This one will attack Maruk. 22. Hits. Uh, after reduction, three bludging damage. Uh, it Watch out. <laughs> And it takes, and it takes three damage. You got a thorn. It, it took more than it gave to you. <laughs> it like bounces <laughs> back, hits him. Alright, Zizix is gonna do something weird, but it may work out cool. I was gonna um, say, oh, Mr. Right. Woody comes is weird, man. <laughs> Zizix is going to move to here and ready in action the trigger is going to be if the elemental spirit moves to this square then Zivix is going to cast ice knife at it at a level three at the elemental spirit at the elemental and that's Zivix's turn 
That is weird. And now the how, elemental... How, how about you just move the elemental first, and then... Because yes, that's going to trigger an attack of opportunity, which may kill it because it's only at seven. Okay, you're, you're, so, you're right. the elemental is first going to try to kill the thing that's going to attack it okay. by beating it twice. Oh, stick. Ten. Hey, he slits to human. Doesn't that mean I, he, he takes damage? He's in humanoid Ten. form, not human form. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so he is... That misses. And then I'm going to try again. Okay, oh. so a 10 didn't hit last time, but does it hit this time? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the act of shape shifting is painful and they take damage. All right. So it's both of those did miss. Sorry, you did confirm 10 does not hit. Does not hit. Okay. Um,. I'll let you attack normally if you want, since it... No, I'm going to try it, because it'll be cool. All right, the spirit <laughs> is again going to move. Try to move to right there. So let's see if anything happens. He is moving out of that guy's range. 11. Well, 11 misses. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so then we are. So then that triggers my action of third level ice knife. Okay. So if you're attacking no. a willing creature, I don't think you need to roll for attack. Oh. Well, I could miss, well, <laughs> which would be cool if I did. Well, I'm just thinking. I think if the creature's willing, you don't have to roll, but 20 will hit. I imagine. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so what that does to it is six piercing. Dang, what terrible damage. Okay. Okay, so first of all, he takes six piercing. So he is still not dead. Minus six. Then these two boars uh, have to make a DC 15 dexterity save. Okay. And uh, if they... Let's see. If they fail, then they both take 10 cold damage. And my elemental has to do it, too. They so. both to succeed. Well, that was uh, high risk, was cool low idea. reward. Do they take... Um, they don't take half yeah. damage, apparently. Yeah, not on a cantrip. <laughs> and then... Well, that's a level 3 spell oh, that is? I just okay. used. And then, hold on, because now my spirit has to... And my spirit fails, so... Does it die? Yes. Cool. No, uh, hold on. What just happened? Is this the one that I lose control of? Let me read it. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. If, the you creature lose, if you lose concentration, but it's just straight up dead. Yeah, the creature disappears when it drops to zero. So. Goes back to well, the ground. Gives a thumbs up before it goes down. <laughs> whatever. Well, that, yeah. that could have been a lot cooler. And now Lilith Thula doesn't even have her ally. Oh, well. Anyway. All of my I'm technically here in spirit. Get it? Yeah. Uh, that was supposed okay. to be a lot cooler. It's okay. He's probably not going to hit me anyway. It's all right. <laughs> this werebore is about to take another swipe at Verifus, but she disappears. Like, what? So he turns around. <laughs> Louis Sula. A little tack. And it's a 10. It's a 14. 23. That absolute takes 13, reaction. 13 bludgeoning damage. Okay, well, as of my reaction, I'm just going to be doing uh, uncanny. Uh, uncanny. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, hold on. So, wait, hold on. 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. Shit. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm taking half of that. <laughs> Take six. Six damage. <laughs> Cause if it was if it was twenty if it was twenty two or lower, I would have been able to just been like, oh well, I've suddenly got four more AC on top of my eighteen. So, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> but I, but no, <laughs> it was one less. <laughs> All right, Verifus. Cool. So Verifus pops out of the ethereal realm over here, and. Uh... A, a question for you. So, a Shardland Strides concentration thing lasts like a minute, so it's still going. Do you 
Are we still going with the six damage I initially rolled, or do you want me to roll again every time I move? I'll do it every time you move, or else you'll just get six, like maximum damage every time, or whatever. Right, yeah, because well, the wording on it's weird. It's like each each creature or object that isn't being worn or carried takes 1d6 fire damage, you know, or higher at other levels of spell. So it's like, it's like should I be rolling for every individual creature? Because it just rolls once, but I'll whatever. Do it each, just, each, so turn. each turn, that's fair. So she'll pop up over here and then uh, move back down here into these two gentlemen and blaze past this guy and hit both of these two for... What is it? 2d6. I'll just roll real quick. Bonk. 8 damage. Oh, plus 3 because of the the fire thing. The affinity. So 8, 9, 10, 11 damage to all three of these gentlemen. And on the way, she's going to shoot a firebolt back at this guy. Just as a big fuck you. <laughs> and completely ignoring the thing where sometimes they don't die. But I'm bad like that. Not seeing it things but fireball fireballs anyone hits? oh i didn't roll attack oh yeah wait no, i didn't roll. okay there we go 16. Fireball. that's enough it kills it oh it's 19 damage fireballs yeah all right selena you as a bonus action, you can move your Hunter's Mark to another target. Um, that means Rudy can't attack, uh, but it'll help you attack the attack last remaining war uh, No, um, they've gone past a level that allow, um, they don't need to use a bonus action to control the cat. Oh, really? Yeah, they uh, they remove that uh, that limitation at 7th for, the, uh, for them. Okay. All right, so um, I move the Hunter's Mark to the only remaining one, and I will fire two arrows at him, and with um, Rudy, he will try to finish it off if the arrows don't, with a maul. It's looking pretty low, so probably be good. Ooh. Uh, Twelve. Damage, 13 damage. Any, any special way you want to kill this one? All right. So um, she judges the wind uh, through the leaves, and she air she knocks an arrow, and she shoots it right into the air, like really high, and then uh, waits for a little bit. The uh, the wearboard doesn't know what's going on. He's confused. And then all of a sudden, straight down on top of his skull, the arrow, like, pierces right through his brain. Skyrim arrow <laughs> shot. Yep. Ooh. And then Rudy uh, feasts upon its corpse. Oh! She definitely gains uh, the dark side point. <laughs> Alright. Combat over. <laughs> and for the next minute, Veravis is popping in and out of existence and is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> over here, over here. So nothing. So just another day. Another day. <laughs> At this point, Factory was just kind of watching the battle, so she's got healed, kind of enamored. It's like, oh wow, look at that hit! Oh wow, that's awesome! Wow, that that elf just just on fire and disappeared it's on fire again. It's like, oh. Yeah, she does that. Are you okay? It's it's like, yeah, in, yeah, in Factory. She goes. She goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. And, uh, Mr. Rook, good to see you again. Oh, you know each other? This is our third encounter with Miss Fact. Fourth! Fourth encounter. Cannot forget the giant Warforged. Oh, yeah, she helped out with that. And she weighs over to Zizix. Hey, Lizard Man. Zizix salutes. And I... Ex and I have Excuse absolute... me, you said your name is... Is fact, and she just disappears again. Yeah. <laughs> um, do we determine that uh, Selena and Factory would know each other? I think we determined that would be a racist thing to assume. But yeah, but we're talking about it. it might be cool. 
So. Yeah, I don't know if we officially decided if Selena and the factory know each other. It's up to Sarah. She goes out. Uh, well, it's nice to meet. Come, and it's nice to meet a, a fellow gnome. Um, she goes. What, what am I talking about? Oh, the whole reason I was running through these guys in the first place. Um, God, we're all in danger. Just we're all in danger, but what specifically are we in danger from this time? We were, we were in the gulch. We're waiting for you guys. All these. Well, Skeletons and undead started to approach oh. and started to attack my friends, but I was able, able to slip away and I was run as fast as my little gnomish legs could towards Leylon. And then these boar people started chasing me, so that didn't help. And uh, we gotta go, we gotta, gotta help my friends. Oh, well, that does sound like that does sound like we need to make haste. She's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that spell. That won't help. Yeah. <laughs> she got you. <laughs> yeah. point, point one factory. <laughs> I. I want to put guys are disappearing from the map because Rudy's eating them all. Yeah. It's, it's like Kirby is eating them all. Up. Um. She said. Does he get their abilities after eating them? <laughs> says I'll give you a minute to. Heal yourself if you need it, but we gotta gotta go. It's gonna take a. It's gonna be too long by by the time we get back. Oh, no time for a short rest then, I suppose. Heck no. Ah, oh, well, that's a shame. Who needs short rests anyway? I'm yes. golden. Rook just kind of went a little bloody there, but he's like, sure, fine, okay. Let's go. Let's let's. Well, I mean, you have you have time to heal if you need to. For gnomes, every rest is a short rest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like it. I don't get it. I'm kidding. I can always um, give Maruka a fear a fear a, a free level one cure wounds. Ooh. For the day. There you go. Look. Look at that. Here you go, Maruk. Oh wow, that's a big level one cure wounds. We have wow. a big level one cure wounds. Big boy. Much appreciated, Miss Ferris. Oh yeah. Well, you know, it doesn't cost me anything, so <laughs> I mean I guess only do it like once a day, but whatever. What's your pride? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, take... uh, <laughs> factory, lead the way. She um, kind of climbs up your back, Maruk, gets on your shoulders, and she points that way. Onward. <laughs> Onward, I suppose. <laughs> and um, along the way, as you uh, sprint towards the gulch, um, she tells you about, like, it's like, yeah, it's, it's this awesome weapon um we're calling it a grenade a grenade a grenade a, grenade. a magical gnomish grenade would this grenade happen to be explosive oh explosive in more ways than you know oh you'd be surprised what i've seen in my life maruk is almost a hundred percent sure he's seen a grenade Selena rolls her eyes at Maruk's comment. She says, um, it was invented by, uh, Fizzle Stib and, uh, and, uh, Dappledop. You remember them, right? The, the two scientists in Nomograd? I'm not entirely surprised that they would invent something that explodes, but, but I'm, the surprising part is they're doing it on purpose this time. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, or was it on purpose this time, and then was it was it an accident this time, and then they figured out how to keep making the accidents happen? I think it's a little both. Considering um, yeah, 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 yeah. unexpected things happen when they go off. Uh, the, the, oh. the kings have decided uh, we're not going to make any more because um, all the all the test subjects are losing losing arms and legs. How are they testing them exactly? Like, <laughs> well, you know, um, 
just brace yourself and uh, hope for the best. Are these not weapons? Hold on to this explosive grenade. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be a test subject for a bow if it was me being shot at by it. Yeah, it's not a gnomish if you don't test it yourself. Oh my gosh, you are the walking embodiment of heck around and find out. <laughs> so uh, That's right, gnomes. As you reminisce, you do reach Dumathon's Gulch. She tells you a story Ooh. on the way there, too, how this used to be a, uh, a dwarvish mine <clears throat> uh, before the river eroded it and uh, the, the top collapsed. Now it is a gulch. And she starts to look around, saying, I don't see the I don't see the skeletons. They were huge. I don't know where they're hiding. They're probably in the ground. Mm -hmm. We've been seeing lots of skeletons lately. Yeah, well, there's a death cult walking around. Yeah, and she uh searches from a top Maruk. Um and uh she points down to a um well across the gulch. Which is about seventy feet deep, um, but she points to a um, a uh, uprising near the middle of it where the stream is, and uh, you see a little you see an unconscious gnome in the, uh, in, the uh, in the center of it. As we approach, I am going to activate my d divine sense, where as an action I can uh, detect any undead within sixty feet. Just to ruin your plans. <laughs> so this is 70 feet deep? Like the cliff what here is? Yeah. Oh. We'll hop down there. Well, that's what I'm trying to decide. Um, you're too high up to detect anything at the bottom of the gulch. Okay. I, 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 when, we, when we approach. So I'll assume when we go down there. Yeah, I mean, you, you can spend some time with some rope making your way down. Making your way. Because that's that's a critical role change. thing. I know that's, that's, yeah, you're starting. Yeah. That's about fifth time we've re we've referenced that in about three months. Yeah. Well, they say it like every game. It gets stuck in your head if you watch that show. I don't. But as you make your way down with some rope, um, Lemon, your your undead sense does start to tingle um, near these near these bushes over here. Oh, the spider sense is tingling. Um, I lemon. Do you sense anything? Yeah, uh, just behind those uh, those bushes. Well, they're, 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 they're more like trees, but yeah. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I detect something over there. Uh, or there there's something wrong. With, um, I, I, they're probably waiting in the ambush. Lena knocks an arrow and fires into the bushes. Maruk was going to say, Maruk was going to say, he casts firebolt on the trees. Yeah, I will let each of you do that. Give me an attack with advantage. Oh, or that was, you're not really advantage. I'm just right for it. Just hit the tree. What if, if Maruk does a firebolt and he's like, "I got this," and then Varus walks up and goes, "Oh, honey," and then fireballs the tree area. <laughs> that sounds like a Varus move. I could do that. What do we? Should I do that? I could do it. Do it. it. Should, I don't know why I'm asking permission. <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah. uh, when he, uh, I'm assuming there's some kind of build up as as you're about to do that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Um, nothing big. I don't want to blow anybody else up. Anything Verifus does is big. Why nothing big? I mean, there's undead. There's trees. The trees are flammable. Okay, so Selena, you take aim to um. Some of the darkened shadows are under the tree. And it does hit something. Oh. From the shadows, this nothing. gigantic skeleton rises up. Oh. Um, 
you do 19 damage to it. And it just... Like... Not quite, it's like a skeleton, like halfway skeleton, halfway like muscles, if you look at it. Um, you did say I, t I did do the attack at advantage or not? Well, then we say like you're about to do it, and then Verapis is like, no, 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 and she does fireball. Oh, I, was, I thought he was going to go ahead and do the fireball, and then I'd walk into the fireball after that. Well, after that, we're going to start combat. So I haven't done the fireball yet. Yeah, so but... you do some damage to this thing. Let me get a picture of this so I can see it. And it's it's one of those things from Attack on Titan. Yeah, kind of. Oh. I actually fought these in my game on Friday. Oh yeah. And yeah. And, um, Is it just the one? We can only see the just, one, right? They're disgusting. <laughs> Maruk is not used to seeing something bigger than him. Oh, yeah. oh look at it. He's not quite like it. Yeah, look at this guy. Oh, look at this thing. And it's almost as big as Zizix when he transforms. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, Rook, you're... You're his miss, but then another one appears in the shadows next to him. Oh, we're fighting two of them. Lovely. Yeah, two of them. Verifus, you have full permission to fireball. Oh my gosh. Or are we starting initiative, or do I have a chance to do a, a thing ahead of time? Now we're doing initiative. They are aware of you. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> they know. I like, guess permission to fireball whenever a man gives her permission. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled great on initiative. See, what we should have done is put the tower up at the top of the cliff. Now that would have been a waste. I mean. We could put it up here. <laughs> but it here, yeah. How tall is it? it Sixty feet? feet? No, it's like thirty feet tall. Oh, okay. Is that everyone? Probably oh, except for oh, over. It's on the. Not yet. Hold on. Sorry, my brain is. My brain is potatoes. <laughs> Come here, Lily. Potato sir. brain. Brain is potatoes. <laughs> Hell yes. Uh. Baffrey goes, uh, those are the ones that we saw. Um, I'll leave you to it. And she kind of runs and hides behind some rocks. Good luck. Right, let me see you oh, first. Uh, oh, of course it's my turn first. I'm the best. Nah, no, just kidding. I'm just me. Alrighty. Let's, uh... Size these bone claws up, huh? Wow, they're pretty bad. Yeah, this is... Okay. We're just getting right up in there. Oh, Can I uh, walk through the tree? I'm sorry. No, I can't. I'm just, uh... Yeah, okay. <laughs> What's going on there, Big Bone Daddy? <laughs> big Bone Daddy, no. Yeah. What we would say, though, instead is... Uh, hold on, let me make sure I don't that on. There we go. Yeah. Alright, first attack. Oh, shit. Alright, uh, that 13 does, that will does... not hit? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Ten will not hit. You're kidding me. I'm gonna take a step back because of my thing. That's all I can do. <laughs> all right. All right, Maruk. Maruk sizes these things up. Tries to think about what he can do, and decides just to go, and just decides to hit this one with firebolt. 14. 14 will miss. Alright. He uses a quicken that a quicken spell to cast Firebolt. You know you know what? No. He's going big. He is casting. Make sure I make sure I'm bringing the spate the feet right. Make sure I don't have to I have enough points for this. Yes. He casts a 
Second level, uh, chromatic orb. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> Twelve of us. Never freaking mind. And that, well, and Merc just kind of just goes, "Well, that was a waste of time." And just, I guess, and that's his turn. How big are these things? How big are these things? Yeah. They're, they? they're large creatures. I imagine they're like the size of like a, an ogre. Oh. Like ten, like Where? nine, ten feet tall. One takes a step forward and reaches out its long, disgusting hand towards the closest thing, which is Loisula. Oh, great. I can reach that far? Yep. One attack. Two attack. Um, 16. That's not hitting me. Alright, you have that cool armor, now. that cloak. Well, even if I didn't have the Clark cloak, it would have, uh, it would have been harder for me to be hit by that too. I wouldn't have him. Next to that. Six and twelve. Okay. It does that like as you're running away, so it's like real slow and just kind of misses you. Oh. Yep. Alright, eleven. Um, I am going to hopefully assist the entire party by doing this. Um, he is going to uh, to okay. lift up his hammer and. It suddenly glows and kind of like explodes with light. And now everybody else's weapons are now glowing as well. As I cast Crusader's Mantle. Which mm. everybody in 30 foot radius of me um, bas uh, does an extra D4 radiant damage uh, with, with weapon attacks. Get out. That's amazing. I mean, I, you know what? I was going to say, you were already pretty cool in my book, but this is... You're pretty much the best, man. So essentially, just being within... Being within 10 feet of you gives you plus... I mean, you're just... You're just a brave... You're just a beacon of sunshine. Hey, paladins are really good with AoEs. Hey. Yeah. And I think that's all I know. Oh, um, this is right now. That yeah, that's it. All your weapons start to start to glow, and the the bone claws try to shield its eyes against the, the light. Like, Rah. yeah, take that, losers. This is a scooter. All right. I was reading a lot about some stuff. Uh, Zizix is going to cast a spell, and that spell he's going to cast is Barkskin. Um, do you guys not heal yourself before the uh, before you left? Before? No, you said we didn't have time. I said yeah, like three you... times if you need <laughs> to heal yourself, you can't. <laughs> You said we didn't I'm the one who said short we... rest. I'm good. No, hey, he that was me. He said we could, hey, not a short rest, but we could heal ourselves if we wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> and no, also, it's fine. Makes it more exciting. And also, toss his shield up in the air. And I don't remember what command word I had before. If I even came up with one. But we'll name it, we'll say it's Jello, just compliment Verifus's putting <laughs> command word. So, and his shield starts animating and floating around him. Okay. Um, and that is his kind of prep turn. So, and then he's going to back away. <laughs> okay. Solana. <laughs> Selena, sorry. Solana's the other game. All right. Um, so, uh, can Rudy charge through friendly characters? No. 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 Rudy cannot. Okay. okay. 
Uh, you can just go south one uh, one turn at uh, one movement and then charge. Yeah. Yeah. Like right, right here. All right. So, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, baby's crying. Just moment. Come on, Rudy. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do is I wanted to do do on that one. I want to do Hunter's Mark on that one, and then have Rudy charge that one. But I guess I have to do it on this one. And one oh, no, just go north of me and then charge. Ah, okay. I like that idea. All right, which, uh, what you going to put the Hunter's Mark on? Okay. I'm going to do Hunter's Mark on that one, and then I'm going to fire two arrows at it, and then Rudy's going to charge and maul. Okay. Do your... I like that Joey's keeping them together so that I can't get a <laughs> seat. So, so, <laughs> so confident you're not even rolling to a hit. Oh, we'll roll. Is that damage? Okay. 20 hits. Oh, that's 100, 100 mark damage. Okay, so 16 damage. Uh, also, run, uh, add a uh, d4 of radiant. <laughs> Because arrows are weapons. There are so many things. I don't know what what I'm what I'm doing. Uh, so eleven damage for the second one. I do a puncher's mark. I think I got this figured out. Press do, uh, do he, Hunter's mark. He he can't talk right, right now. His kids are oh. his kids crying. Yeah, well, I got that. I did the uh, the Hunter's mark on the guy, and then I did two arrows, which is the uh, fifteen and the eleven damage, and then it's going to be either a plus four and a plus three on either one of them, and then I got uh, a plus one and a plus one radiant damage to each one of those shots, and then I did the charge with Rudy. Um, and I did the uh, the mauling, so I had that one d six of that maul just right now. Rudy, dude, just go. Okay, so as Rudy is charging, at, at nine plus five. Well, as Rudy is um is charging, the um bone claw swipes downwards, and uh, there's a claw attack against it, against him. Does a sixteen hit? 16 does hit. Are you sure? I have a 17 here. Oh, that's right, yeah. Rudy's armor class is 17. Uh, uh, Selena's is 15. Okay. But remember, Rudy sort of is able to dodge his way out of it. Um, and then... Uh, do, 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 do. 17 will hit and do an additional 9. What was that 2d6 for? That, that was for the, uh, the, the the 2d6 was for the um, the uh, on the on the, on the thing. thing. Oh, okay. The, yeah. the 2d4 was for the radiant damage. I only did one and, of those because uh, you rolled for Hunter's Mark above there. Right. And uh, Rudy gets plus five to his uh, maul because he did charge. Plus, uh, plus a uh, would you consider that a weapons attack? No. Not from the animal. No. Not from a natural weapon. Uh. Unless there's something rule saying it about you know I think it's about you know I think it's only for um, weapon weapons. All right, good job. It's looking bloody. Purpose. More blood in the what? Oh goodness. Oh oh goodness, goodness, goodness. Uh. Do I want to get up this close to this thing? What's the the attack range? It was able to hit like Lily Sula from like two squares away, right? Yeah, it has quite a reach. So if I wanted to get up here. <coughs> I'm thinking. 
<laughs> so, so, okay. Excuse me. Here's what I want to do. I want to get up here and see if I can huck the instant tower into the middle of them and blow it up. Not blow it up, but you know what I mean. Well. But I gotta throw it, don't I? As you approach. Uh oh. It will do attack as you come forward. Uh, oh, it can reach that far. All right. Uh, 19. Yeah, that hits. Okay, you take 14 piercing damage. Ooh. And All right. He pulls you right next to it, and you are grappled. Oh no! At least it's easier to throw now. That's true. He's kind of like holding you up in the air, kind of like look like getting right up in your face, like going just he's the hot undead breath that's breathing at you. Oh, I'm trying to make a decision. Do I blink again? Oh, uh, you know, you know what? I'm pretty sure what, Blink what? is out by now. Or, it's where, out? What's no, 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 I mean, I'm gonna cast it again, but... Oh, but no, I'm grappled, so so even if, like, we drop the tower and it pushes them away, I'll just get carried with it, won't I? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll just Blink. We'll cast Blink and then hopefully it'll, it'll save me, I guess. Uh... J J Joey over here with the jukes. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta. Oh, I don't have to cast the actual thing. It's just it's D twenty. Eleven. It is an eleven or higher. So she. So I guess that works. I, I guess I wouldn't. Would I still be grappled? I guess not. If she disappears into the mid. Yeah, uh, if you go to another dimension. Right? Um. Do. What's up? It was holding you in the air. Um, you're still going to take fall damage. Sure. Wait, not, no, not in the ethereal flying. Oh, why not? Do I? I'm almost positive you would float down. If in the ethereal uh, plane. Yeah, there, there is nothing physical in the ethereal plane. Uh, there is no... Gr I, it's a, um, a, it really ghost-like. Well, we, we were in the ethereal plane before. I guess I thought it was just like this plane, but like gray. <laughs> you could say you basically, or if you want to play it that way, you could also say you just blink down. I mean, are you, are you just thinking that because of ghosts, or is that actually a thing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, that's okay. You take three damage. Three damage as, as you fall. As you fall that's that's fair. fair. Yeah, let's just. <laughs> just I, hurting Verifus is the better option. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, but she's she's in the ethereal plane, so she's not grappled yet. Uh, hold on, hold on. No, that's. But you are blunt. Yeah. All right. And I, that's all I can do. So. Come on, three, four. Um. Yeah. So the uh, can't blink out of existence, and it kind of looks at his hand. And then we'll take a swipe at um, first Loisula. Uh, eleven. Oh come on, guys! <laughs> You're rolling like me. Oh, hey, you knocked out like half of my health. You try to swipe again. Nineteen. Um, who is to swipe it at? Lucilla. How many more attacks does he get? As a second attack. And this is his second attack? Yeah. Then he doesn't hit me. At all? Nope. Well, what do you do? I'm doing my reaction where I uh, make my AC plus four. <laughs> okay. On top of my 18. <laughs> Dodge out of the way again. It's like, nah, uh, uh. <clears throat> that is your reaction. That is my reaction, yes. Okay. But it's also now my turn, so I get my reaction back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna scooch on near here, so I'm adjacent to him, but not to him. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna do my thing. So hold on, let me just make sure my sneak attack is off. Yes, it is. All right, first attack. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, 20 will hit. Absolutely. It should. Second attack is... Wait, isn't she next to an ally because she's next to Rudy? But yeah, the Bone Claw is yeah, next to an ally. Sorry. Yeah, he's by his friend. Yeah, he's by his friend, so I can't, I can't, I can't do that anymore. So, and then I, uh, uh, get the hell out of Dodge. So that's, uh, 25. Right, Rook. Oh, wait, add a radiant damage. Oh, right, yeah, the 1d4. 1d4 or 1d6? Uh, it was 1d4, I think. <clears throat> there you go, yeah. Is that only going to affect the weapons we were holding at the time? Uh, uh, if you if it is a weapon within 30 feet of me that is not an, an enemy's, it does the damage. Okay. So th cool. I think the only... The only thing that can't use it is Rudy, or if um, Zizek summons an elemental. Okay. And natural weapons don't work. So if you shapeshift, it may not work. Yeah. Which I think you are here, Bob, too. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been making my decision. All right, Maruk. <laughs> All right, Maruk just kind of waddles, kind of goes up. Can I get up next to Rudy? And... I'll see why he can't. He does that. Um, and goes into a rage. Good. It's seeing these abominations. Alright, let's see. And we're gonna roll on the this table on the on the small log magic table. And roll a seven. Which gets us a um, 15, uh, would you mind setting up a 15 foot area around me? I do I don't, I don't <laughs> like what's going to happen. Um, difficult terrain. Like, like eight, uh, 15 feet around me, just like life springs anew and like flowers and vines just, just spring up like I'm a druid all of a sudden. Oh, is this a, and... uh, okay, this isn't. Always oh, center around you. Okay, so that area, you can. S no, the ground within fifteen feet of me is difficult terrain. At all times. Yeah. Okay, so you, even if you move. Yeah. Like if you move over here, that'll be fifteen. Around you. Yeah. Okay. The uh, the field <laughs> moves with me. Okay. It, it's, it's, he's like an evil Disney princess. Yeah. yeah. Where instead of flowers and stuff following him, it's thorns. <laughs> I knew it. These are now on difficult terrain. Um, alright. Am I still, if I still get to sit up for rage? Yes. Um, and then we'll just start whacking on these things. Ten will miss. I'm gonna make that a reckless. Can I make that a reckless attack or is it sure. too late? Two hits. All right. All right, that does. Six damage plus. Which one are you hitting? I'm hitting this one in front of me. Okay. And it does six regular damage and three radiant. Yeah. Was that too? Oh, you have a sh do you have a shield? You have a shield, right? Yeah. Okay. Sixteen hit. Sixteen just hits. All right. Twelve damage plus. Wow. Oh, let's see here. One radiant damage. Thirteen. Starting to look hurt. <clears throat> and that's my turn. He's gonna start taking it out on you, Rook. Twenty-one. Hits. K. 
Okay, you take eight before um, halving. You take eighteen piercing damage of nine. Glad I don't want to do a rage. Oh, I should roll against it's disadvantage technically. Yeah. <laughs> you might get a crit. Yep. Right. Did so you get a crit? Did not. But you are grappled oh. by it. I'm right where I want to be. <laughs> and he's going to try to give you a bump on the head. 13 will miss. It thinks you're a field mice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, eleven. Little zombie foo foo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I am going to move here because Verifus doesn't exist. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, I am going to uh, lay into oh. this guy. Oh, oh, why would it rotate? That's because Lemon is tilted. <laughs> Only two hits. Uh, just a measly ten. And two radiant. Um, and... Um, just to make sure stuff doesn't get too dangerous in elsewise, um, I'm gonna send a... Uh, healing word over to Maruk. Much appreciated. Heal for nine. Alright, Zizix. You're up right. something. I am. <laughs> Zizix is going to uh, use his two wild shapes to turn into a water elemental. Ooh. See something looks... new with this guy every time he shows up. Gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> so it should have... Let's see. Oh, I have control over everything. Perfect. Pop in 114 hit points on that. Okay. Behold the power of pure water! <laughs> 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 and so hey. then... Hmm? Uh, I said, hey, Warcraft has uh, good elemental designs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so then we are going to move here and using the fact that I have water form to enter a hostile creature space and stop there. That posted, right? Yep. And... <laughs> I'm reading your message. <laughs> and then, um, while there, I am going to use my Whelm ability, which I want to uh, paste that for you. But I can't. So I'm going to have to what that copy do? paste. Uh, so basically, I just kind of am bursting a bunch of water around. There. You, okay, you spin around, make a I, 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 I don't I'm trying to pull people in. I'm not really sure how exactly this is going to work. I've, I have been trying to figure it out, but can't find it online. So we're going to come back to you to decide. It's so large um, or smaller. It, it is large. There's also grapple. Yep. There is another important part to Whelm that I'm pasting right now. Is that I can grapple one large or up to two. So I definitely can't can't grapple both of these guys. Okay. But you can't be able to spit, so it's a strength. Right, but I can deal damage to both of them, I think. Yeah. First one. So, yeah. 13. So Second not fair. 19. All right, the 13 fails, 19 passes. So I think that that makes this, we don't have to really make a decision. The 13 takes the 10... 10 damage and is grappled. And so he is restrained and unable to breathe. Oh. Unless, it can, unless it can breathe water. 
Sadly, it's undead, so it doesn't need to. Well, boo. Okay? That's probably true. And so... It does so make it very wrinkly. Hold on. Is that cold damage? Okay. No. It is, uh, bludgeoning. Okay. Okay, and then this is a question for you. Oh, and the one that, that passed is, like, half damage? Nope. He actually doesn't take, uh, doesn't have to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, um... And then... I mean, Levin's probably right. They don't, they can't, they don't breathe, so... That's okay. That's okay. Um, then a question for you. Does, does using an ability like that, is that an action? Oh, it's definitely an action, unless it says it's, it's a bonus Just action. Just make it sure. Okay, it does not. It doesn't say... Oh, I guess it does say it's an action. Okay. In which case, that is it for now. Yeah. Right. Selena. I'm going to move closer to Lemon. I'm going to shoot the one that's marked uh, twice, and then I'm going to have uh, Rudy Mullen. Okay. Is there anything about it being submerged? Um... Restrained. Okay. Is he restrained or grappled? Both. Both. Attack rolls have advantage. Oh. If, um... Hold on a second. If the blah, 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 blah. if the saving throw is successful, the target is pushed out of the element. So that boy, that boy needs to back up a little. It's right there. You just made Lula Sula very happy. Yeah. All right. So um, is restrained. So all attacks against this one has advantage. I'll re-roll the mall at advantage. Let's re-roll re -roll it once. Okay. Both of those miss, unfortunately. But all the arrow ones still hit, right? Oh, you already did it. You have to tell me when you do things. Um, so I'm not always looking at the, uh, at the thing. Uh, t both of those... Well, uh, roll them again since they're advantage. That's in case you crit. Already hitting. They are hitting, but you may crit. Count that as both of them. Um, you do not crit. Alright, so. Tell me how many damage it all is. You know 85. What? That's definitely. More, that's enough. You only have 20 health. You get a, an arrow each in, in one of its eye, in each one of its eyes, and blood starts pouring out of it. It's all gross. The blood mixes with the water as it's swirling around, and now the elemental's all bloody. It's like, oh my god. I'm guessing I'm no longer grappled. You fall to the ground. Oh. But in a good way. I don't take You damage. don't take three damage. Yeah. Well, I'm in rage. I don't think I take damage anyways. Take some damage. I... <laughs> okay, Verifus. Verifus? Yeah, so uh, Verifus reappears within 10 feet of that spot, so like she'll we'll go over here and we'll reappear right there, it's fine. Um, and uh, I guess she's kind of far off from this thing. Um, 
As you reappear, uh oh, it makes a grab towards you. Uh oh, oh, all right. How far away do you want to do it? How far away? I'm just gonna reappear right here because I can only appear within ten feet of where I disappeared. So I mean, I guess I could go all the way up here. All right. Again. Uh. Twenty-seven. <laughs> Oh, 27 hits. Alright, um... You take... 17 piercing damage, and again, you are grappled. You get taken and grappled again? What's that? Say that again? Oh, oh you're breaking up. Oh, I might be lagging. You're good. Alright, yeah, 27 definitely hits. Okay, so you take 17 piercing damage. And Oof. again, pulls you towards him. <laughs> sure. Uh, damn it. <laughs> she's just like, God, God damn it. And she and she turns into a dragon. <laughs> just, just fucking wings tear out of her, just bones. Muscles are crawling up the, the bones. Uh, her horns get bigger. Uh, it's just like a like a disgusting like eighties nineties horror movie <laughs> like transformation effect. Uh, Give me a strength contest. Sure. Should I use my stats or? Well, actually, I don't know if the thing has stats. Hold dragon on, set, yeah, I, mean, you, I guess it must. Use the dragon stats. Where's that at? Seventeen. So I just what roll a d twenty and add three. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't oh. have enough large objects on the field already. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled the roll though anyway. It's only going to be like an eight. All right. You remain grappled. That's fair. Oh, but now I'm a dragon. I'm grappled. Turn to the big dragon or the little dragon? Oh, it's going to do the, the the wild shape one. Yeah. I didn't cast the um the spell because it just it just puts a bunch of fucking shill over the screen and I didn't uh. Yeah, put you over here. Can yeah, you, that's um, fair. In the water. I think I can do something. You mess with What's your up? health, so it shows your health up there. Oh yeah. How much health does this thing have again? I'm you looking, to, I'm looking tell me. Thirty two. It doesn't have much health. <laughs> yeah. I want to say like, you know, alter the health so I can there you go. Yeah, sorry. All right, so you are grappled, but you use your action to uh, turn to a dragon. But it's somehow, I can't remember. It still has a hold of you sorry. somehow. It, yeah, it's just it's just hugging me or whatever. Wait, hold it's, on. it's got me impaled, right? Um, uh, not not impaled, just gripped. <laughs> oh, nice! This is a creature. Okay. I couldn't remember if I was able to use. I don't think I can use anything on the shapeshift, can I? Can you use what? I, there's nothing I can do on the shapeshift, right? It's been a while. Oh, no, that's your action. Uh, yeah, yes, that's, yeah that's my action. There's nothing else. Yeah. And here's a weird question. Does the blink stay through since it's not concentration? Yes. Yeah, Should I? Actually... Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah, if, if you'll allow that, then I guess I'll, I'll roll another d20. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't work. So it's a good thing I did this. <laughs> it, yeah, shape shifting doesn't dispel uh, uh, spell effects. Yeah, okay. it's a pretty crucial mechanic for old Zizix. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's gonna take its other free arm to attack. Eleven. Eighteen. Uh, eighteen misses. It's going to attack the dragon. Sure. It's other claw. 25. That hits. You take 27 piercing damage. Ugh! Oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Oops, not, not, uh, hold on. 32 minus 27. You're still alive, thank, but thank, apparently. Thank, thank the lord. Thank Corellan. Right, Lucilla. Tank and a skeleton. Welcome to Thank the, the knife. Thank the uh, tonight. 
Welcome tonight on the Rogue Podcast. We're going to be walking up to this giant skeleton who is now by himself, which means I have advantage. And I'm going to stab the hell out of this uh, guy's tailbone here. So let's see how we roll. And... Son of a bitch. <laughs> 12 is going to miss. 12 is going to miss, but we're going to try again. Because we're not quitters around here. Are you kidding me? Uh, Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Maybe I'm back. Step on back. Step on back. back. You've been, you've been uh, listening to Rogue, Rogue Radio. Radio. That says a bunch of bullcrap. <laughs> your, your dice are back, baby. Yeah, my dice yeah, rolls are back, and uh, this is exactly why. Therapist pats her on the head with her tail. Plus nine to my attack, and it still doesn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, Verifus shape shifting distracted you. Yeah, that's it. Big dragon. dragon. Yeah, that's the ticket. Reminds, Reminds me, me of Dragon Mom. Merc just moves down. Uh, kind of waves at Willisula, saying, "It'll be okay." And then just, Ooh. and then just proceeds to hit this guy profusely Willis- over the head. Willisula arms crossed. Seventeen. Out. Really mad. 17 hits. I guess you're not doing breakfast anymore. No. I'm all hit again. Damage. 13 hit. Uh, 13 hits. Is that, add, is that adding your rage? Yeah, uh, that's. It doesn't add to the. Attack roll. It doesn't add to the attack roll. It adds to the damage. Oh, I know. I know. I'm just asking if it is. <laughs> so yes. Okay, it is. but thirteen misses. But roll your uh, radiant damage. Yeah, hold on. I'm, I'm rolling it. That's eight on that first. Okay, eight plus. Well, thirteen misses. No, the. No, I did. I haven't rolled damage yet on either of them. Yeah, you did. Oh, oh I did. Yeah, you're old in nine. <laughs> oh, you're right. So, 11 damage. Baruch is not doing as much damage as he would like today. Maybe and... I'll get to bite its head off. And that's his turn. Okay. Uh, 11. Smack any smack. Both those oh. hit. See, Lemon knows how it's done. He's like, just roll, roll, damage, damage. <laughs> just get them all out of the way at, the, at yeah. once. Yeah. Uh, that is 27. Plus your radius. Plus your radius. Oh, yeah. How come Lemon can do it and I get and not get in trouble, but I do it and then you're like, I didn't see it? Oh, I didn't. Because I, didn't... I didn't see it. <laughs> uh, five radius. This is because I was on another screen looking at something. He was watching YouTube. No, he was looking at the character pages. <laughs> Alright, those are looking bloody. When life gives you lemon! <laughs> Zizix. All right, Zizix is gonna roll a d6 to see if his special ability comes back. It does not. I got a three. Um, <clears throat> Zizix is gonna get all up in uh, this guy's face and make some slam attacks. It's literally in his face. Ah, well, his face is really gross, so. Not super, but no. I am. I am intentionally taking up some of his his literal space there, um, and I'm going to make two slam attacks against him. Uh, well, okay. I didn't mean to roll that with advantage. I was hoping it would just do it twice. So the 18 would be the one, and then 17 bludgeoning damage on it, and a second slam attack. For 20. 20 and hits. 11 bludgeoning. And. Oh, that's that. 
<laughs> Just bits of zombie floating around in the water. I'm sure it feels wonderful. Alright, Selena. Probably I am paying no, attention. I am paying attention to your rolls. As a bonus action, Selena moves the hunter's mark onto the other one, okay. fires two arrows. Uh, Rudy moves over a little bit onto the corpse of the dead skeleton and charges down at the uh, other skeleton. Okay. Hops on down. How far do they have to move to charge? <laughs> 15 feet. I will let you know in just a second. Oh my. Wow. Oh. Roll for Radiant. Uh, okay. 20 feet. How do you want to kill your second bone claw? <laughs> Making a good first impression. Yeah, Chris, how do you, how do you kill this? Um... Uh, Rudy, uh, while charging, um, like the arrow uh, that uh, the final arrow that Selena shoots whizzes right past Rudy's head, knocks off the uh, the head of the uh, thing by like, hitting it in the neck, so its head falls right off, and then Rudy lunges for the the head as it falls, and then plays with like a giant ball of yarn. <laughs> and then oh. he then he eats it. I would, I would not if I were you. Who's going to have an upset tummy? Yeah. Oh. Have fun cleaning up that mess. All right, Factory runs out. Oh, Rudy Farouk's shoe. <laughs> Rook's shoe? Rook does not Rook's wear shoes. shoes. Maruk barely wears clothes. <laughs> it's a factory. I don't have a token here. You heard it here, shippers. Yeah, this will be factory. <laughs> Fibble stib. It's two Fibble stibs. She goes, that was awesome, guys. And his friends pass you. He goes, whoop. No, excuse me. Well, oh, ah, that's up. Uh, oh, cross, 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 cross. It tiptoes around it. Then runs up this carefully across the uh, little rock bridge. And um, she goes, Fibble! Fibble, speak to me, Fibble, Sim! Oh, don't die on me! And she, uh, she has a little health potion and pours it down her throat. And uh, nice. Fibble, Sim kind of, kind of wakes up. She, uh, she True asks, love. <laughs> she asks uh, one of you to Come over here and help her. I'll get it. <laughs> I put Verifus up there intentionally because it's, like, it's the shapeshifter friend box. Yeah. <laughs> so, Lemon, as you walk up here, um, you get a better view of the rest of the canyon. And there's 16 the more. <laughs> yeah. We reveal the 12 more of them. I got this, it's fine. I tanked one of them. <laughs> I didn't do much. I thought I would do, need to do a lot more. But you did exactly what you did. Exactly what you did. <laughs> oh no, the canyon is slowly, slowly hiding itself. Oh no. Alright, so you... There's no description. Uh, further in the canyon, you see this um, statue of a uh, of a dwarf in armor and you see another gnome kind of resting against it seems to be unconscious but doesn't seem to be hurt. like he's taking a nap maybe maybe he's just tuckered out hmm. but uh, people, <laughs> still, people still um, kind of starts to wake up And he goes, like, well, like wakes up with a start. And he goes, ah, skeletons, skeletons. Ah. 
Yes. We killed many. Yeah, I was confronted by a, a party with a dragon and a giant water elemental in it. Yeah, he sees a, a dragon water elemental down there. And he goes, oh, Factory, when you ran away, I thought you wouldn't come back. So of course I came back. I came back with heroes. He goes, You found, uh, the, found, the, you found the Pandalorians? He goes, yeah. just gonna wait. Marut kind of steps out from behind the dragon and just waves. Well, I remember you. You were quite rude to us, if I remember. Thought we were hiding something. <laughs> well, I, I'm i almost positive you were, but that's neither here nor there. Well, no one never forgets. That's okay, though. I forgive you. And, <laughs> um... And, um... He kind of looks around and goes... Oh no. Where's the grenade? Where's the grenade? I don't see it. Where is it? Oh, that's never a statement you want to hear. Starts feeling Starts... around. He goes, uh, Check the water, check the water. Now, where did I put that highly? Very first, let's just go and start for nosing no, around in the water yeah. for this grenade. Check, check for what? You mean, you mean investigation? All right. Merc tries to smell for something explosive. Hey, I have a question. Um, what would happen if, if Zizix uh, just wanders in there and just tries to suck up all the water? <laughs> I don't think I can absorb water. There's nothing in the... Okay, the fil ability. filter. <laughs> I am immune to poison. Well, as in, like... If all the water goes through uh -huh. you, uh, oh. something in the water might also it like pop out. I'm sorry, I had to. I didn't roll very high. I have to refresh because um, I actually popped out this chat window. <clears throat> okay. Uh... Eight. Yeah, you start looking around, Burfus, but you, uh... Yeah, I only rolled a three. Maruk, though, you actually, like, send up a little magic ping. You're like, oh, oh here it is. Started to wash down Maruk the river a little bit, but it was kind of way Maruk. down because it's kind of heavy. Maruk very carefully picks up the explosive item. That's it? It will still oh. because I don't worry, it's harmless without the key. But don't drop it. Or throw it. <laughs> I was not planning on to. <laughs> and I have it, to admit expecting something larger. Yeah, it's about the size of like a of a grapefruit. It's made of a uh, metal. <clears throat> and you see a little little keyhole um type thing, it's not quite a keyhole, and he goes, uh, that's where you put the, the wind-up apparatus. Wind it up, throw it, pray to whatever gods you believe in. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be safer that, to have it pre-wound, but have a mechanism so that when you let it go, it went off, instead of having to, uh, Listen, I don't know. Still, it's a prototype, still in development. Yeah, I can where did tell. these <clears throat> where did these skeletons come from? <laughs> <laughs> Say, I just, um, they came from the Golden Talos. <clears throat> uh, Merkel. Merkel. Yeah. Well, weirdly, didn't the the Boar people earlier said something about being part of the Cult of Talos, though? Right. So well, both they, of them are here. Yeah. It, it, it's where one oh, goes, the other follows. That they either both wanted to get rid of the item, or uh, I I rather hope they are not in collaboration now. Well, that would be bad. But that's why we made the grenade. So you can blow them both up at once. Yeah. So, and, uh, so what, what does it do? What doesn't it do? But I'll tell you what. It's... He basically I says, um, 
two explosions. Um, one fire, one thunder. Could, um, stun the opponents. He says, uh, we also grounded up a wand of wonder. In here. So, who knows what'll happen after that. Make sure you're out of range. Hey, wanna wonder. Question, oh. just... I know this is I know this sounds stupid, but I've seen them before. Is this reusable? He just asked no. One time. Ah, uh, well. So don't use it until you're ready. By the way, where's um where's a devil dog? Um who? Well, where did you see him last? Well he was she was with me. And we got attacked by these giant skeletons. Starts looking around. Oh, there he is. And he points to him leaning against the statue. So who has the key? Uh, he has the key. Doesn't, uh, he poor... doesn't doesn't look doesn't look hurt. Is there anything weird looking over there besides him? Let me describe the statue. And a perfectly mundane circle around it. Yeah. yeah. You, do, you, do, you do see a ring of runes around the statue. On the ground or floating in the air? In the ground. In the ground. Saying I'm not oh, yeah. sure what that is. Before we go and investigate, could like... Take a look at these two uh, uh, bone chads and see if they're like carrying anything notable, or they were just here. I'm guessing. Sure. Um, but you Why do look not? at you do look at the statue. Um, it seems to be of a, a dwarven deity. And, doubt, and um, people still goes, "Oh, that's probably uh, Dumathon. It's a dwarven god." Oh, that would. Explain uh, where the gulch got its name. <laughs> Something seems to be moving on it, but I can't quite make it out. And Veracruz, he starts slipping around the, the bone claws. Um, they have nothing of importance on them. Yeah, I didn't think so, but thought I would check. You never they know. They giant oversized swords tomorrow. But you notice that... Um, some of the the cloth remnants it was wearing has been a like like since it got wet from the water elemental that was just soaked in gore. It's now like all bloody and disgusting now. You ooh zombie soup. <clears throat> yep. You see um his chewed up head you know, right next to it. <laughs> Gross. These things are pretty horrific. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Verifist will join the group and we'll go down here to investigate. Uh, this. Ruins. What? For for the rest of us, um, is the water traversable? It is. Okay. Treat it as difficult terrain. I just stepped over it because I'm just so cool. Right. And you have wings. Right. I can technically fly up to sixty feet. So. <laughs> Making sure. Magic is more hey. your thing, so uh, take the lead, Verifus. Yeah, what do you think about these runes? Like standing right at the edge of them. <laughs> so one of those. It's like one of those dogs that's like worried about like going. Like we have like a sliding glass door, and they're not sure if it's closed or open, and they're like very carefully like checking to make sure. That Glass doors it closed. Lemon, how how long does your uh, detect good and evil last? Um, I, um, that's only an action, so um, I, I can do it again if I want. Okay. All right. Yeah, in case I'll do it. Uh, I can detect any celestial fiend or undead within sixty feet. Well, I don't want you to do it because I. Kind of like told you something, but I was just curious if it. Okay, yeah, happened. never mind then. Yeah. 
Um, as you get closer, the uh, statue does seem to have some runes written on it, but it's like literally you can't make it out. Like the the letters are all uh, are all like wavy and changing forms. And uh, Dabble Dob does seem to be alive and breathing, but he kind of opens up one eye and he goes, "Don't get close." They're all around me. What is all around you? He goes. The the the, the specters, spectral warriors. They're all around me. They won't let me go. They want. They want the key. What? Spectral warriors. Hmm. Oh, wait, can you see them right now? They disappeared when I entered the... They disappeared when I entered the runes. No, they're there. Waiting for me to leave. Oh. What are these runes? If you, you don't can mind you talk for us as a dragon? I guess you can. <laughs> I don't... I guess I could. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, also, there... Um, d uh, how long does Blink last? Oh, that's right. She would have been blinking around. I uh, know. I also, um, uh, if if I remember, um, it, I think if they're invisible to it's... us, they may they may be in the same plane that you blink into. In the ethereal realm, it lasts a minute, and I forgot about it. Oh, okay. It yeah, it's probably gone by now. Yeah. Yeah. By the time we get over here, I'm sure it would have worn off. Uh, it's like if you if you cast it now, it could be like the ring race or something. You you just blink into the ethereal plane, and they're just standing there right beside you. <laughs> the gnome goes too weak to move. It's like they had me trapped here. I'm pretty sure there's something in the statue too. I'm trying to see what what would be inside of a dwar uh, a dwarven god statue. <laughs> a dwarven god. Beer. He, he um kind of gestures up to a a gemstone in the helmet of the statue. He goes, I feel something inside that gem. Well, Fairfax looks around and then tries to take a step into the rune circle and see what happens. Okay. Because we were specifically so told not to. <laughs> Immediately when you do, the runes kind of like dissipate. And I said, I told you not to enter. They're feeding off energy. <laughs> Oops. The runes are feeding off the energy? I don't know the details. I don't know the rules. But as he takes some steps forward... You see several <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> ghostly figures kind of materialize around the statue. And you also see a dwarven woman like a the ghost of a dwarven woman kind of peek her head out of the statue look around he kind of Phase back in. And the statue starts to come to life. Oh no. Yeah, I know that one. It is a statue of a dwarf, of a dwarf but it looks like this little thing. <laughs> Steal its eyes. <laughs> And we will do initiative next time. No, oh, no. Unless you want to do it now. Because I can do it now. Yeah. No. no. Oh, let's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm spent. Well, that's a good point. Good stop. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. dun, dun, dun. Be oh, dun, dun, dun. That was a lot of sounds. Yep. <laughs> All right. Some of them can... Uh, some of them uh, understandable. Pretty fun game. I liked it. 
all combat in this one. But yeah, we yeah. will do the next game and probably do the start of the next quest too because we'll probably have plenty of time. Awesome. Next time. Next we just time. have to kill Dabble Dob, that's all. Yeah, just gotta kill, <laughs> the, the, kill the gnome. Next time on Rogue Radio, I'm gonna make a lot I mean, of rolls and not hit anybody. I mean, it serves him right, you know, like, I don't know why. For being a gnome? <laughs> uh, the, uh, I think the thing says, like, having energy enter the field gives the ghost power, and, like, that's why they appear, so I think that's what's going on. Oh. They're like, like, the gnome wasn't enough to su sustain them, or something like that. Alright. So they're just like, aha, a dragon has entered the circle. And then Varif is just like, joke's on you, I have five health. <laughs> yeah.